Maybe, hopefully. Let me know. Let me know if it's been fixed. Because um, now I'm a little bit paranoid. So, sounds great. Okay, fantastic. So, hopefully, uh, audio will stay that way. Thank you, Merge Fam. Um, let me know as we go through if anything changes. So if the audio starts getting wacky again, let me know. We're pretty sure it's a laptop mic, just we're trying to ask too much of its situation. But um, yeah, let me know if things go wacky again, because I don't want you guys to be suffering through terrible audio quality. Um, so. Well, With that said. <laughs> well, and the fundamental irony there is that the one thing we were talking about when no one could hear us was our mic situation. Is the fact that, yeah, if anyone has a recommendation for a wireless lapel mic, we're all ears because it's the one thing we don't really have. Yes. And it shows. Yes, very much so. So, yes. So, if anyone is in chat um, that knows of. A good lavalier mic or a good lapel mic, um, please, please, please send me a message anywhere that you can find me or in chat of a recommendation because lordy oh lordy do we need it. Um, with that said, like I said, if we have any audio issues moving forward, let me know. Um, hopefully everybody's having a less eventful Friday than, than we are currently having. Uh, goal at the beginning I mentioned is to go through um, the last couple steps of our basic chop chop. So um, reviewing the three or four that we did several weeks ago with uh, the intro to chop chop and then adding on uh, three or four additional patterns tonight because I have a feeling that the ones that we review and the ones that we need to go over tonight are going to go pretty quickly so we might end up with closer to seven or eight patterns for cha-cha when all is said and done but we'll see how that goes and uh we, do we want to just jump into it yeah sure all right all right you change the cam i'll move the chair and again if audio changes let us know all right so, and I, and I even, I got my, I got my fancy pants on today and everything. You sure do. <sighs> Figured it was cha-cha and we needed fringe pants. One of us is taking this a lot more seriously than the other one. And no, I think one of us is just slowly losing her mind a little bit faster than the other one. Um, so basic cha-cha, just as a quick review for everybody. Um, the front half and back half are the same for the lead and follow. We're just switching which half we start with. <laughs> Even the cat is losing his mind at this point. Uh, <laughs> we are going to start with a prep step on our right. Uh, if you are a lead for count one, and then we're going to do a break step forward on our left for two, three, and then we have side together side for four and one. Then we're going to go backwards on our right, two, three, four, and one. So that cha-cha basic again, we're rocking forward on the left. Then we have side together, side. Then we're rocking backwards on the right. And then we have side together, side. If you're a follow, we're going to be doing the same thing. The only difference is we're going to be prep stepping on our left for count one. So I'm gonna prep on my left for count one, then I go back to three, and then I have side together, side, then forward on my left, two, three, side together, side, back on the right, two, three, side together, side, left, and side together, side. And of course, it's gonna be counted a whole heck of a lot faster than that. Yeah, my favorite. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and try that. Yeah. Which way are we facing? Uh, we'll, we'll go to the side today. Right. Um. Uh, or not? No, okay. Just because I, I know the next couple patterns we're going over. Sure. All right. Beach ball. Beach ball. You're prep stepping on your right. I'm prep stepping on my left. And we have one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three. 
cha cha one two three 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 cha cha one okay let's try that just a little bit faster okay i was going as fast as you count i know and we have five six seven here we go on the one two three four and one two Three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, and cha cha, one. Good. Now, one thing that I will tell you, uh huh, just based on where I stopped here, uh huh, you have a tendency to rotate across your body. On that forward rock, uh -huh. I want you to come straight at me. Okay, so it's straight, not angled. Correct. Same thing with your back step. So when we're doing our back step, we want to step directly back underneath our own hips, side to the other side, and when we step forward, we want to go directly forward. We don't want to cross over our body. So we aren't doing crossovers just yet. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. And you're pressing into my hand, not pulling away from my hand. So there, there we go. And we have one, two, three, cha cha, 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 one, two, three, and cha cha, one. Good. Okay. Better? Better. Much better. Right. Any questions on the basic? No, no. I think we've done that already. We um, have. No concerns. Excellent. Other than, you know, I don't walk in straight lines, apparently. It's it's an ongoing thing that we're working on. Yeah. Uh, second pattern that we went over last time were our New Yorkers. Uh, if you're in the American syllabus, we call them crossover breaks. Um, that is essentially our three-legged race. So we have our um, full basic. So we have one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three. As we go to the side, uh, if you are a lead, you're gonna be bringing that um, left hand down to your partner's waist, bringing it through, and then we're both gonna open up with our inside foot, swing through for two, three. Then we have side together, side, two, three, Side together, side, two, three, side together, side, and then we're gonna step through, pivot away from each other, shift our weight, and then side together, side. If you did this uh, last week in our rumba, this should feel very similar. We're just adding an extra cha cha to it. Uh huh. Alrighty. Okay. Sure. So one basic to start. Uh huh. And we have one, two, Three, cha cha 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 one, two, three. Don't forget your chas. Two, three. Okay, what am I supposed to do there? So yeah, there you go. Pivot and then side together. Side. Yes, and do that on the balls of your foot, not the heels of your foot. Please. One more of them. Yep. And we have one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three. You gotta let me know a lot sooner than that. Two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one. Eh? Not terrible. From a from a social perspective, what Matt is currently doing is perfectly fine. I'm gonna be a little bit nitpicky with him though. So <laughs> on your <coughs> crossover breaks or your New Yorkers, we kind of talked about this last week with our rumba version of this very same pattern. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that any side action that you do, so in rumba it was just the slow side step, in cha-cha it's our side together side. 
is square to your partner, you don't want to have it be a continual rotation. So um, if you really want to take your New Yorkers <laughs> to the next level, take this really chunky. So two, three, side together, side, and then turn open, side together, side. That's gonna make sure that you stay with your partner and we don't get too far away from each other and that we're not pre-leading something that we don't need to lead until a little bit later. Can I ask a question? Yes. So when you're coming through the middle part mm -hmm. and about to do this move, yes. when does the hand come from here to here? Because I fought you that time. You did. You tried to back lead me. I'm like, nope, I'll move my hand when I'm ready. Yep. Uh, so in, in early days, I would bring the hand down through the entire sequence of four and one. Because you need to let your partner know that something else is happening. You can't just bring it across on one and expect them to react. So I, if you are starting this in a, in a upper hold or in a closed hold, I would take all of the counts of four and one to bring the hand nice down and low. If you're already starting from a two hand hold, you can leave it until the count of one to let it, your partner know. Is one the rightmost step? Yes. Okay, so when I'm here, that's when I should bring the hand down. As soon as you're out of your rock step. Well, that's, that's way earlier than I thought you just described. Yeah, so four and one, I would bring down the entirety. Uh -huh. If you're already in a two hand hold, you can wait until count one. Okay. In other words, if I was leading uh, from my rock step, I have two, three. I'm going to bring my left hand down, four okay. and one. Okay, that's, that's already that's down helpful. on one. I don't know what a four and is. I just know where my feet are supposed for to be. For your pulse side together side or for your cha cha cha. You might be bringing that down. Um, chat is quiet, so let me know if we're having any audio issues or if we're all good. Because again, I want to check in with you guys every so often. Um, okay. Let's try that again. Mm -hmm. Slowly. Slowly. So I can, uh, you know, figure this out. Okay, from our prep step, then we have one, two, three, cha cha one. Two, three, cha cha one, much better. Cha cha one, two, three, 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 and cha cha one. Very nice. So much better. Mm -hmm. So much better. It's because it was like forty percent slower. <laughs> um, let's add on one more powder before we put it to music. Okay. So these are gonna be our shoulder to shoulders. Uh, these are gonna be our shoulder to shoulders, which are the same as uh, we did in our rumba. Um, same hold, so we can either be in a nice lifted hold or we can transition to a two hand practice hold. Um, what that, I'll actually do it this way, what that's gonna look like from a leads perspective is um, we have our basics. We have one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three. As we come across, we can either stay in that frame, or as you just saw, we've got a cat that's just messing with everything tonight. Um, or as you saw, I could bring that arm out. So from my back rock, I have two, three, four, and one into a practice hold then my left leg is going to sneak outside of my partner's leg. So I have two, three, cha, 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 two, three, cha, 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 two, three, cha, 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 two, three, and then I'm gonna bring my partner back into frame. So you're doing the same thing that you just did in our New Yorkers, the only difference is you're gonna be sneaking outside and staying in a practice hold. For the follows, we're doing the same thing essentially. So. From our basics, we have one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three. We're gonna move into that practice hold. Our partner's gonna be stepping across us to the outside, so I'm gonna take my right foot back. And I have two, three, cha cha cha, 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 and then I'm back into hold to level out and go straight forward or backwards with my partner. 
Let's give that a shot. How do you get into practice hold? I missed that part. Uh, you're just going to slide your hand down and slide then right. catch mine. I was chasing a cat. I know, I know. So, basic, <clears throat> we have mm -hmm. one, Whoop. two, three, cha cha, one, two, three. We're going to slide the hand into practice hold. He's going to step outside. I'm going to rock back. Cha cha, one, two, three. Cha cha, one, two, three. Cha cha, one, two, three. And then we're going to come back. So he can step directly forward to bring us back into hold. So uh, you can do this as many times as you want. I'm a big proponent of doing everything, everything in sets of four. So with our New Yorkers or our crossover breaks, we did three and then on the fourth, we did a pivot turn to get out of it. Shoulder to shoulder on the fourth one, we're gonna try and get out of it as well. So. Let's try that again. What are we doing again? Same thing? Same thing. Okay. And we have one, two, three, cha cha, 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 one, two, three, and we're back into our basic. All right. Yeah. Very nice. Seems all right. Questions on any of that? No, no. Okay. That was much easier than the first one. Really? I think so. Less arm it, movement. It's, it's all the this. It's all the it's all the hand movement stuff. It's not even the hand movement. It's this versus this is much harder than it really should be. Fair enough. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. It might just be you. Uh, let's try those first three steps with some music. Right. So we'll do two basics, a full set. Of New Yorkers, two basics, a full set of shoulder to shoulders. <laughs> and again, let me know if we're having any sound issues. Because uh, I don't want to make it weird for you guys. It's all the movement. <laughs> he just he just wants to cha cha with us apparently. Yeah. Um. You have one of those that's like twenty percent slower. Let me. You know, like the midpoint between that and what we were practicing. Let me let me see. Thank you, Murd fam, for letting me know that we're sounding all right. Shoulder to shoulder. 
worse. It could be a lot better, too, is the unspoken part of that sentence. Cha Cha is fast. Uh huh. I'm not. <laughs> it takes time and a practice. Uh -huh. It does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. So those are the first three patterns mm -hmm. uh, basic New Yorkers, shoulder shoulders. Uh huh. Uh -huh. What? Which are one? all side chasse based. So chasse is anytime we have a side step, we close our feet and we take a side step. It's an old ballet term. Um, so we have side chassis and then we have um, forward and backward progressive chassis. And then we have a couple other chassis as well, but mainly from a beginner level, you've got side chassis and you've got progressive chassis. So from here, we're gonna transition and we're gonna go over three patterns for our progressive chassis. Uh, the first is going to be a forward and back basic. Second is going to be chase turns. And then the third is going to be a crossbody lead. <laughs> yes, yeah. So, uh, like I said at the very beginning when we switched over to the dance cam, I wanted, I wanted my fringe pants for some movement. So I'm glad that somebody's appreciating uh, the pants. And yes, it's been a couple, of, it's been about five or six weeks, actually, I believe, since we did cha-cha last. So Matt is doing much better um, than our last attempt at this. I don't remember. <laughs> I, I, I mean, my assumption, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, I chronically take larger steps than I should. You take larger steps and you are back -weighted. You You oh. want to move with the heel of your foot, and that's not conducive to fast movement. But it's getting better. It's getting better. So let's talk about forward and back, uh, forward and back basics, otherwise known as progressive chassis. Um, so we're gonna go over the leads footwork first, and then I'll come back to the follows, even though it's exactly the same. So if we do a side basic, we have one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one. I'm about to go forward on my left. I'm gonna do my rock step like normal. So I have forward on my left, back on my right, and then I'm going to step back with my left, cross my right foot in front, and step back again with my left. From here, that's my four and one, so that's my cha-cha-cha. I'm now gonna step backwards on my right for my normal rock step. I have rock step, and then right foot's free, so it's coming forward. Forward, cross behind, forward on my right, and then I can start the whole thing over again. Left foot rocks, left rocks, then I go back, cross, back, now right foot rocks, right rocks, forward, cross, forward. Left foot forward, back, cross, back, right foot back, right, cross, forward, yeah? Uh, follows, we're going to be doing the same thing. We're just starting on our back foot. So from a basic, we have one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. I'm going to rock back like normal for two, three, and then I'm going to come forward on my right foot. Forward, cross behind, forward, left foot comes forward, left foot rocks, back on the left, cross in front with my right back on the left. And again, right foot comes back, cha, 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 left foot comes forward, cha, 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 back on the right, cha, 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 forward on the left, cha, cha, cha. Question on that? No, I just, I, I fear that this is going to be very difficult at speed. Be okay. Uh -huh. So if you um, are having it super difficult, I want everyone to try doing the lock step. But if, again, it's becoming more of a frustration than a challenge, uh, you can always <laughs> just run your cha-chas instead of doing a lock step. So what I mean by that is we're still going to do our rock step forward. So we have two, three, and then we're just going to run backwards. Run, run, run. Then you can rock back on your right. And then run, 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 run. So we can go left, run, 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 right, run, run, run. Nothing wrong with that version. It's just not my preferred variation. 
prefer to see nice lock steps from everyone, so. Let's try. Mm -hmm. um, one other thing before we jump into this, because you and I have been using a closed hold, uh -huh. when you switch to your forward and back, uh, regardless of whether you're doing a lock step or a running step, we want to lower to a two hand hold. That's gonna give us a lot of room to move. So just as you're doing your forward rock, we're just gonna lower our connection. Exactly. Yep. Basic to start. And we have one, two, three, cha-cha, 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 pause. When you want to get out of this, uh -huh. you're going to transition on your rock step coming forward as a lead the same way that you got into it. So we're going to rock step forward, two, three, and then Matt's just going to go directly to the side to bring me back into closed hold. So let's do that again. We'll do... Flip this hand? Is that the... Just bring... Just flip the hand. Oh, yep. Okay. So we'll do a basic, two sets forward and back, and then a basic to transition out of it. All right. All right. And we have one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three. We're gonna transition out, two, three, side to the other side, two, three, and side to the other side. Step on your toe. You did step on my toe. Do you know why you stepped on my toe? Probably because I wasn't walking in a straight line. Uh huh. That's what it normally is. Yep. You gotta make sure that those rock steps are directly forward and directly back. Otherwise, you're going to kick your partner. I know. You get cranky when you do that. Yeah, yeah. Let's try that one more time. Five, six, seven. Here we go on the one, two, three, four, and 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 one, two. Three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. All right. Very nice. Better, better. Much better. Much better. Um, chase turns. Mm-hmm. Okay. Chase turns. Um, very silly move. Insert Monty Python clip here. Um, essentially, it means that you are chasing your partner. So, from a leads perspective. We're going to do this. We're going to transition first into our forward and back basic. So we have prep, two, three, side to the other side, two, three, side to the other side. We're going to do one full basic, cha, 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 going forward and back so that our partner knows that we're going forward and back. Now, as we get ready to step forward on our left the second time or at any point, we're going to step forward on our left then turn to our right shoulder, shift our weight to our right foot, and then cha-cha stepping forward on my left. So I have forward on the left, cross behind, forward on the left. Then I'm gonna step forward on my right, shift my weight, right foot comes forward, forward, lock, forward, left, turn, left, rock, left, right, turn, right, lock, right. So whatever foot you step forward on to begin your pivot, that's the foot that's going to start on four and one. So if I step forward on my right to pivot, then I'm going to step forward on my right again to start my lock step. Reason for that being is we're doing rock steps of two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, which means I'm shifting my weight from foot to foot. Same thing happens in my pivot. I step forward for two, shift my weight for three, and then step for my lock. Forward on two, pivot for three, shift my weight back to my standing foot, and then do my lock step forward. Very important. I see a lot of students losing time or getting ahead or behind because of that shift of the weight action. I'm sure I'll be plenty behind. Okay. So, I'm going to have you turn 
a total of three times. Okay. No, you have to you have to turn a total of four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. You're gonna turn a total of four times. I will turn a total of four times, but I'll be one behind him. So follows. I'm gonna just assume that we're already in our forward and back basic. So we have two, three, shot, 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 two, three, shot, shot, shot. As we rock backwards on our right, we're gonna notice that our partner is turning. So we're gonna do a regular rock step for two, three, regular cha-cha forward for cha, cha, cha. Now, I'm gonna be stepping forward on my left and turning to my right for two, three. Forward on the left, cha, cha, cha. Then again, same thing. Step forward on the right, turn to my left, cha, 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 two, three, cha, 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 two, three. We'll be back and hold for cha, cha, cha. Biggest thing follows is we are gonna be turning the opposite direction from leads. Leads, you are turning the opposite direction from your follow. So if you notice that you are turning the same direction, one of you is on the incorrect foot. So if Matt and I go through this super slow, uh -huh. we're just gonna jump straight into it. So you're gonna turn on two, three. Good, cha, cha, cha. Notice that we're turning opposite directions on our pivot. Two, three, cha, cha, cha. Two, three, cha, cha, cha. And then he's gonna stay put and just do a regular rock step. Two, three, Cha, cha, cha for me to find him again. So do I do the rock step? You do the rock do step, the rock but step. you're not turning. Okay. Correct. So let's try just just the chase turns and then we'll add uh -huh. it on to everything else. What am I supposed to be doing with my hands? Does it matter? It does not matter. If you want to be a pretty flamingo, you can be a pretty flamingo. I, I don't care. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we have two, turn, three, cha, 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 two, three, cha, 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 two, three, cha, cha, cha. That's his last turn. He's gonna rock as I do my last turn. And then I would recommend doing a forward and back rather than a side, oh. just because her momentum is gonna be taking her into you. Okay. So I would finish this off with either a crossbody lead, which we'll get to in a second, or just a regular forward and back. <laughs> the shaded light, hashtag be a pretty flamingo. Yes. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure out what a flamingo style looks like. Well, let's try that one more time. So straight from the chase turns, and we have two, three, cha, 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 two, three, cha, 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 two, three, cha, 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 two, three. That was his last. I have one more. We reconnect on the back, and then we can transition it out on that next side step. Well, that feels really easy at that speed. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's add it on to our forward and back basic. Uh -huh. So we'll do a side chasse or a side basic, forward and back to transition, uh -huh. do the full set of chase turns, and then get out of it. So how do I transition from the normal back and forward to the turns? You're just going to let go of my hands as you step forward. Okay. Yep, yeah, as you step forward for your rock step, you're just going to let go. Yes. Okay. So, side basic. So we're facing this way now? Yeah. Okay. Five, six, seven, here we go <clears throat> on the one, two, three, cha cha, 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 one, two, three. Cha cha one, two, three, 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 and to the side, two, three, cha cha one. Not bad. It was a little over dramatic. <laughs> I had to remember where it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I would I would let me I guess let me rephrase when I said just let go of my hands. You should gracefully disconnect from your partner rather than F it, <laughs> which is kind of what you did. <laughs> if you know this before, you can only ask for so many things at once. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, let's try that with counts a little bit faster and then we'll try it with music before we add on the sixth step for today. Wait, what are we doing? Same thing that we just did. Oh, okay. Side basic, forward sure. basic, chase sure. turns, okay. get out of it. 
five, six, five, six, seven, eight, oh, one, two, three, cha cha, 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 one, two, much better, cha cha, one, two, other way, cha cha, one, two, three, 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 cha cha, one. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> but you did the right thing. Figured out where I was at and just jumped right back in. Pouted for a second and then joined. Yeah. yeah. One more. Okay. Five, six, <clears throat> five, six, seven. Here we go on the one, two, three, cha cha, 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 one, two, three, good cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one, two. Three, cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one. Nice. I feel like I was like a half step behind the entire time. You were okay. You you were not um horribly behind. And I think that's the goal. <laughs> Let's try it with music. Uh, let me know, chat, um, how you're doing. We've got the hashtag be a pretty flamingo. I love it. Um, so let me know if you guys have any questions with, when it comes to arm styling or uh, clarifying anything on any of these steps. <laughs> it's it's a little it's a little tiring. Yeah, yeah. I think I want to do that on wedding Wednesdays. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very rarely have I had a um, a first dance couple or a father daughter or mother son dance that did like a full out cha cha because it's it's a little aerobic. Murfam says it's cardio. Yes, Murfam, it is in fact cardio night tonight. My gym's been closed for six weeks. <laughs> it's a vomit in the bathroom after this is over. No, <sighs> it's not that bad. Ooh. It's just a little fast. It's a little fast, but it's fun. 
<laughs> yeah. You know, I think once you know what you're doing, it might be fun. Kind of like going to the gym. Right now, it's uh, just exhausting. I was telling a student um, the other day <coughs> that personally, um, they're, they're doing a couch potato to 5K program or couch potato to marathon runner program. Um, and they were saying that they didn't realize how bad their cardio was until they started running. And I'm like, to, it, to be honest, if you asked me to run a mile right now, I would not be able to do it. 100% could not do it. If you asked me to quick step full out for like 10 minutes, I could probably do it. There's something about dance that just works biomechanically better for me than it does like jogging. No, and I don't know what it is. No one's like talking about it, but, but running is similar to dance in that there's a particular form you need to have, and if you don't have that form, it's really it's hard. It's really hard. It was, you have a question in chat that I can't read because I'm out of breath. Uh, Shaded Light, is it is the difference between appropriate use of basic and side basic just to be mindful of surroundings, or is there more to decide when to use which? Great question. Yeah, so um, the difference between the side basic and the forward and back basic is really just what, um, what space you're working with and what patterns you want to use with your partner. So, uh, for instance, you would not really be able to do a chase turn if you were using a side basic, the same way that you wouldn't be able to use New Yorkers in your forward and back basic. So, it's a little bit of like what colors do you want to paint with for your, for your comp composition, um, and also what space you have at your disposal. So if you are boxed in and you've got people to your left and people to your right, then the forward and back basic is gonna give you more flexibility to move. Um, and the pattern that we're about to get into, our crossbody lead, is also a great way to just kind of maneuver yourself around the floor a little bit more. Whereas if you've got people in front of you or behind you, you're probably gonna to wanna to rely on your side basic to create movement. Um, Cha-Cha is one of our stationary dances, so it doesn't, it is not meant to travel around the dance floor. So um, from a competitive standpoint, we talk about like setting yourself up for success. So where you place yourself on the floor uh, in comparison to the other dancers around you is going to either give you options or it's going to limit you in what you can do. Um, but yeah, I guess the simple answer would be the side basic gives you certain patterns that you can play with in a certain space, and the forward and back basic, again, gives you other patterns that you can use um, depending on what your space looks like. So it's really up to you as the lead or as a choreographer to decide what you want to do and what you want to play with. Yeah. I'm just over here trying to catch my breath. I'm just <laughs> Are we at five of these, six of these? You were at five. Okay. Five down, one more to go. All right. And then... I think genuinely, how are we on time? Oh yeah, I think we could probably sneak in one more pattern today. We'll see. We'll see how you're feeling. I, I do what I'm told. So. Um. So last pattern of the basic six is crossbody lead. Crossbody lead essentially gives you a 180 degree turn, um, so that you can either move past people that are blocking you, or you can just look at different walls. Um, depending on kind of what your situation is from a social dance perspective. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go over Lee's footwork first and then I'll come back to Paula's footwork and I'm going to do the straight to camera first so you can kind of see where I'm moving in relationship to my floorboards. So this is going to come from a forward break. So I have my two, three. As I come back on three, I'm going to think about rotating my body on top of that foot and then I'm going to open up the left side of my body for my four and one. So I am seating the floor to my partner. I'm opening a door, I'm giving her room, I'm giving her space to move. So again, leads, we're going two, three, then we're gonna go side, together, side. From here, I'm gonna rock backwards on my right, two, three, and I'm gonna close that door for side, together, side. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So we'll do it two more times for my leads. So we're going forward for two, back for three. We turn side together, side, backwards, two, three, side together, side. And if I do it the same uh, thing coming back, I have two, three, side together, side, two, three, side together, side. 
I would not do both of them back to back. It kind of defeats the purpose of the move. Um, but you can do it any which way you would like. It's kind of like the uh, the rotating box. It's a little bit like the rotating box. Mm -hmm. Slightly different mechanics. I'll figure it out. Yes. Uh, follows our footwork is different. So we're going to go backwards um, on our right for two, three. And then as we notice that our partner gets out of our way, we're going to be doing a forward uh, chasse or forward locking step going past our partner for four and one. I'm going to step forward on my left for two, step forward on my right for three, trying to face my partner, and then I'm going to do my side chasse with them. So I'm walking past them for as long as possible, turning, and then doing my side chasse. So, so a couple more times. I've got two, three, I'm going to do a forward lock, forward lock, step forward for two, step forward for three, and turn, and then side together, side. So if I do the same thing coming back, I have two, three, forward lock, forward, step forward two, step forward three, pivot on that foot, and then side together, side. All right. Shall we try it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Which way are we facing? Oh, this way? Maybe this way first. All right. All right. So you're going forward on your left. I'm going backwards on my right. And okay. we have one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. Okay. Very nice. And if we do it to the side. Where should my arms be for this? Exactly where they were. Oh, okay. Um, there are a couple of different arm options, so we'll go with kind of the standard, which mm -hmm. is our cross, uh, our close body first, and then I'll talk about what happens if you're in a two-hand hold. We have one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. Okay. Yes? Sure. If you're in a two-hand hold, you can do what I call um, a crossing action or a jump rope action. Um, and the idea behind it is we do our rock step, so we have two, three, and then Matt's actually going to lead my left hand with his right hand across his body. So we're going to go four and one, and then two, he's going to whip it to the side to have me turn. So if we do that again, um, facing this direction, we have two, three, he brings the hand across. Trying to cross my legs too. I could tell. Well, it's not supposed good. to do it that way. No. Nope. And two, three. He crosses the hand, and then he's going to act like a whip, exactly, to whip me back to the side. So it's just bringing that hand across and then flicking the wrist to get your partner to rotate to you. Okay. Okay. So let's stick this at the end of our chase turns. So we're down here. So we're down here. Okay. Can we be up here? I feel like I'm less likely to trip up here. Yeah, if you want to bring me back into, well, you, you nope, no, stay down there. All right. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> we'll do one step forward and back. We'll do our chase turns. We'll do a forward and back to recover, and then instead of transitioning to the side, jump you're gonna rope. do exactly jump rope. But not with my feet. But not with your feet. Okay. And we have. Wait, wait what are we starting with? Uh, forward and back into our chase turns. Okay. Or do you want to do a side basic first? Uh, you tell me. Forward and back. And we have one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, chase turn, two, three, cha, 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 two, three. We're going to do one set forward and back. And now we're going to go into our crossbody. Cha, cha, cha. Two, three, cha, cha, cha. You took an extra step across when you should have rocked backwards. I did a lot of things. That's all that happened. I'm not proud of any of them. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Five, six, seven, here we go on the one. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and a one. Two. Nope, that was just started over. That was too early. Five, six, seven, eight on the one. Two, three, four, and one, 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 two, 
three, four, and one, two, three, cross body lead, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. There we go. Nice. We got there, we got there. We got there. All right. Everything with counts or jump straight to music? It's up to you. Let's do everything with counts. Because I know you're not you're not a huge fan of music. <laughs> that makes it sound sound weird. That's not the case. So for those of you that are practicing with us, um, we'll do two basics, full set of New Yorkers, two basics, shoulder to shoulder, two basics, switch to our forward and back, chase turns, forward and back, cross body lead. And if everything goes really well up until that point, we might repeat from the top. But I have a feeling that, oh, that yeah, that that's that's where we're gonna stop. Two basics to start. Oh, guys, who's added? Listen to any of that. I know. Five, six, seven. Here we go on the one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two. New Yorker, four and one, two, three, four, and one, two. Three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, back to basic, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, shoulder to shoulder, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, basic, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, Three, four, and one, forward and back. Two, three, four, and one, 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 two, three. Cross body lead. Two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. And then you go back to your side basic. That wasn't too bad. I still crossed my feet while I tried to do that. <laughs> that's all right. If that's the worst thing that happens, that's that's not too terrible. There are worse, there are worse blunders that you could make. All right. And you might decide that you only want to do the crossbody lead from a closed hold. You were correct. I've already decided that. <laughs> Which means realistically you could go into it from a side basic, right? So if we do a regular basic, uh -huh. one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, or you could just go straight into it. Oh. But yeah, you could you could essentially do a side basic and use your crossbody lead if you're getting boxed in and you wanna make a move for it. So not too right. shabby. Play the music, put me out of my misery. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna switch songs. This sounds even faster. That's just a matter of 
Um, your hands are crossing, so you want to cross your feet too. I, I think you're correct. Yeah. I think if we change that order, everything would be fine. We can we can play around with a different order next time we can mm -hmm. cha cha. We can definitely do that. Do you want? I know we're at we're at the hour mark. Do you want to do one more pattern? All right, hit me. Do you want to do one that is forward and back? Or do you want to do one that's side to side? Do either of them let me insert it between the crossbody lead and the other stuff so that we can be in normal fold? Um, yeah, one would. And that one. Okay. So we're gonna... That's the one I want. Okay, so, so one more bonus pattern um, for Chop Chop for tonight. <laughs> Uh, this is a little bit more complicated, but it's a really fun one to use, especially in social settings. So this is called a Varen back. Um, it's essentially a long version, a long complicated version of a New Yorker. So um, I'm just gonna pull us both through it. Okay. Okay. So. What am I doing? This would be the same, you would lead into this the same way that you would a regular New Yorker or crossover break. So we're going to go one, two, yeah? So we're forward, perfect, two. We're going to shift back three. We're going to go side together, side. Now, if you notice, we have both hands. We're going to step forward and across for two, keeping both hands. We're going to take a side step for three to face each other. We're going to turn all the way to the back, and we're going to back lock four and one. So we're going to need to take much smaller steps through this. Yeah, let's do that one more time. Okay. So two, three. We're going to go side, together, side, little steps. We're going to step across for two, switch three, and then we're going to go back lock back for four and one. Wait, so which which foot am I stepping back with? I'm stepping back with the right. Right. And then Cross. crossing. Right. Beautiful. Which is the opposite of what we've been doing all this time. Correct. I had a system. <laughs> back, cross, back. Good. Okay, now what? Okay, from here, uh, leads are taking your left foot, follows are taking our right foot. We're going to land two to face our partner. Yep. Shift our weight for three. Then we're gonna go inside foot, forward, lock, forward. Give your partner a high five for two. Push away, turn three, and then side together, side. Yeah, we're gonna have to walk through that a couple more times. Little teeny tiny steps. So, two, three, tiny, side together, side. Cross over, switch, back. Yeah. Let's start that again. Inside foot through, two, three, side together, side, cross, side. Oh, side. Good, now go back, lock, back, perfect. Now open up, hit two, up three, forward lock, forward lock, forward, high five, step through turn, side together, side. Okay, what do you mean turn then? Okay, so you got five. two. High five. Yep, step forward on three. Yeah. Good. Turn on that foot. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Side. Yep. So. I'm not optimistic for this one. So you're stepping outside foot, uh, follows left, leads right for the high five, steps through with the inside foot. Keep turning on that foot and then keep traveling the way that you were just going for your side together, side for your side chop chop. Yep. Step through, turn on that foot, side together, okay. side. Yes. Little teeny tiny steps. And we have two, three, side together, side. Step through and turn, back, lock, back. Open, up, forward, lock, forward, high five, turn, side together, side. Yeah. You're not putting this in the middle of anything. One more. Uh huh. And. Are we, are we too far? Is this fine? I don't know. I might want to be closer here. All right, and two, three, 
Side together, side step through and turn. Back, lock, back. Open, switch, forward, lock, forward. Tap, turn, side together, side. Yeah, I mean, it's a thing, isn't it? It is a thing. Yeah. So, closed hold. Yeah, clearly. There and back. When you do the side together side, catch me in closed hold. We'll do a basic. Do, do, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do and then do a cross body lead out of it. Uh huh. Sure. Five, six, seven, here we go. On a one, two, three, four, and a one, two, three, there and back. Two, three, little step. Two, three, back, lock, back, land two, up three. Forward, lock, forward, crap, turn, side together, side, basic, two, three, cha, 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 two, three, cross body lead, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. Not bad. I don't like it. <laughs> what don't you like about it? I don't know. There's a lot. It, it's all very linear. It is. It's all jazz handsy places. It, At least it feels like it should be. It can it can be. It has the potential know. to be. That's hard. It is. It's tricky. It is definitely tricky. Um let's do this. Let's go ahead and switch to chat cam and check in with how everybody at home is doing. And answer any questions. <laughs> there you go. We're also on a tight space. So if we had like five extra feet uh -huh. of room, I think you would be a lot more comfortable with this. Yeah. I don't know. That was really nice. There's a lot of stuff going on there. Oh. You grab a chair, I'll change I'll change chat cam, and you guys will have to let me know how you guys are doing tonight. If if we if you were having as much uh confusion and complication as Matt is having. Or or if everybody at home is doing alright. I mean, to be fair, we it was... We this. This is much taller. That means one perspective I have to be back here. Oh. Then I have to, like, turn and... Oh, I can't fix that for you there. I'm still out of frame. I'll just... I'll zoom, the, I'll zoom the camera back out just a touch. So scoot that way. Otherwise, we're very close to each other. Mm. Okay. I know. So... Other than it being a little bit more complicated than the others, general feelings on cha cha. It's they're all complicated. Yes. <laughs> it is very quick. It is. Which for a beginner who doesn't know where his feet need to be, anyways, that makes it much more difficult. I can see that. Meh. It's fast. Yeah. It was definitely fast. I, I totally, totally get that. Mm. And it takes a little bit of getting used to, but I think cha cha is one of the more fun dances that you can that you can play around with. Mm -hmm. um, it just, you're right, it takes a little bit of adjusting to. After this, I'll be back. What are we doing next week? Next week, we'll be finishing up East Coast Swing. Isn't that just as bad? Yeah. Yeah. Can we like swap in a. Uh... Tango? Yeah. Is that slower? Yeah. All right, let's swap that in there. Okay, we'll do tango next week. Maybe. Yeah, I like that idea. We'll slow it down a little bit. <laughs> okay. like, a, like a DJ at the party. I'm going to slow it down just a bit. Okay, okay. So we'll do, so last week we did rumbo, which is relatively slow and easy. This week we did cha-cha, which is fast, but fun. Mm -hmm. Next week we'll do tango. Week after that, East Coast Swing. Week after that, Waltz. And we'll save your, your least favorite, my high up on the list, Fox Shot. For very last. Yeah, and by then maybe we'll be out of uh, quarantine and we won't even have to worry about it. I mean, depending on what part of Utah you're in, technically we're kind of mm -hmm. already out of it. Yeah, I know. Going to the gym on Saturday. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I'm positive if I go to the gym on Saturday, there's no way anyone's going to want me at the office on Monday. This is true. <laughs> this is definitely true. Maybe that's, uh, maybe that's your coping mechanism out. Yeah. Is, uh, well, I, I was out and about over the weekend, so clearly you don't want me cross-contaminating. Mm -hmm. 
it's it's a theory. It's a theory. How are you guys doing? Those of you that were watching for the lesson, any questions or just general life updates? You guys playing anything fun? Watching any good movies? Watching any good TV? I'm playing Pillars of Eternity too. You're playing Pillars of Eternity too. I'm doing uh, Microsoft Jigsaw Puzzles. Uh -huh. Because we have a cat and therefore we can't have actual jigsaw puzzles. We can't have anything nice. Um, we've got the group Minecraft server that we have okay. that you and I have not logged on for a couple of days now, but we're working towards things. You know, that, that is all about being social with other people. So if other people aren't logged in, it's just not that fun. Yeah, we're in the weird situation where we've got time, time zones to jump. So by the time that folks on the East Coast get home and wind down and want to play, we're still wrapping up. Well, you're still wrapping up your nine to five. Or this. And then we're doing this in the evening. So then it's 8.30 our time, which is 10.30 their time before we're ready to hop on and play Minecraft. So it's really the weekend before exactly. we get to do that. Yep. Murd fam, all good. Good to hear. Glad to hear things are good uh, where you guys are at. If, if the shaded light is still in chat, how's life? How are things going? Are you guys are you guys back to work yet? Because I heard uh, interesting things coming out of both Maryland and West Virginia. Oh, today, yeah. Is um, it something other than the governor telling people to <laughs> behave themselves? Oh gosh, Jim Justice, love it. Um, yeah. You're the only person, huh? I said you're the only person then. Just just that quote. I uh. I don't get into the rest of his politics. No. Um, I think Hogan has opened up or is starting to reopen Maryland, but some of the counties are boycotting and saying that they want to stay closed. I think what the line from West Virginia was something along those lines. Life is good. We're both still teleworking. Nice. Nice. Honestly, you've really been surprised at how much I've enjoyed teleworking. Isn't it amazing? Um, I say, isn't it amazing? I've actually really enjoyed teaching the, the handful of virtual lessons. Um, cause I feel like I get to really work on how to describe, um, patterns and technique and like what, what you are supposed to be feeling as you're dancing, um, in a way that I definitely don't or have not needed to do when I've been teaching in-person lessons. So I'm stretching a different muscle when I'm teaching. If I could go lick a lamp post <laughs> and get a mild case of this so that I could go back to the office and the gym, I would do it in a heartbeat. Oh, don't say that. It's just, I think, I think people, I think your issue is because everyone is teleworking and, tel and, and commuting from home, there is a need to have a phone call in place of an email. So, so the old line about like this meeting really could have been handled via email or phone call. Uh -huh. It's now this, this. Zoom meeting really could have been handled via it's kind of a Teams email. message. Yeah, yeah, Teams message or sometimes. What's the other one? Slack chat. Mm, yeah. Yeah. If you're a Slack office. If you're a Slack office. I uh, I just have a job that is made easier by being able to be in a room with a person. Yeah. Um, and trying to do things over the phone or even in teams or anything else just adds an extra layer of complexity um, that I, I you know would prefer not to have. Yeah, but to be fair, you're I'd also. I'd like to go back to the gym. Yeah, you just you just you need out of the house. Your chaotic energy is showing. Yeah. Yeah. I need to be walked. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Maryland is county by county. So expect it will be late summer before we're not teleworking. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I heard. Um, Utah is cut is sort of the same way in a weird way. So we are officially moving. The state is moving to code yellow uh, either today or next week. I think today. Um, but three counties and two city specific zip codes are staying in orange. Mm. Because that's not complicated at all. Mm. Yeah, but hopefully, hopefully sooner than late summer. Um, although I was listening to something 
about California, and I think California said it was going to be August before they were going to start reopening stuff. No idea. Which is just absurd in my mind. Yeah. But. No idea. Don't follow California. Other, yeah. Other, other than quarantine things. So you're playing, what, you, you said you were playing what game? Pillars of Eternity 2. Pillars of Eternity 2. There's a bunch of the uh, Crypt Roll people doing uh, various voices. Ah. Yeah. And that reminds me that I should probably prep D&D for this weekend. You should. I have not done that yet. Probably be dead. The life of a dance teacher. I don't think the average dance teacher is uh, running a Dungeons and Dragons group on the weekend. No, no, but I'm. I'm you you take that on yourself. I'm prepping stream stuff, and I'm prepping dance lesson stuff, and I'm doing choreography for wedding clients. Now that we're starting to see weddings that are being able to continue as planned on the books, so it's like, oh right, that life and social stuff. Mm -hmm. I gotta I gotta pencil that in too. Mm -hmm. You're being very busy and important. Well, I do my 9 to 5 and then uh, play Pillars of Eternity to <laughs> and try and sit it out. Yeah. I will say, and I don't know if anybody else uh, has this issue as well, I've found that with Matt teleworking and with me doing the stream and the virtual thing, like trying to separate work and life, like I have no work-life balance at this exact moment. Everything is like intermixed and interwoven and... That's one thing that I miss. I like, you like to wander into my office and ask me questions in the middle of my work day, too. I do. Uh, I do, because you're home. You are here, therefore, whatever. I don't know. That is one thing that I would like to get back to, is having some separation between when I'm supposed to be working and when I'm supposed to not be working. Because I have weird hours, even the best of times, with, with in-person lessons. Mm -hmm. But at least then, if there was a little bit more delineation, because everything was at the studio. Because everything was at the studio. So I went to the studio, I did what I needed to do, I would take notes, I would film, I would whatever, and then as soon as I could, I came home, I could pretty much turn it off. And now there's like, there's no turning it off. So, need to be better about that. Um, Shaded Light, I played the first Pillars, never did the expansion, but I enjoyed it. First one was good, the second one is uh, also good so far. It's uh, the first one, but the Pirates. Yeah, that's about all I have to say because I'm not that far into it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, but it continues the storyline from the first one. So if you had a saved game from the first one, I think you can import it into the second one. Like the old uh, Baldur's Gate games and Icewind Dale games. Because that's really what they're meant to be. It's just a replacement for those. For anyone who remembers any of those games. I, I own them all. Fancy. Yeah. Fancy, fancy, fancy. They're fun games. Yeah. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I had I had something that I was gonna input there and then I completely forgotten it. Mm -hmm. I don't um Monday podcast with Rosanna and Terry Sweeney. Wednesday, Wedding Wednesday Choreography to L-O-V-E by Nat King Cole. Or a non-copyright uh, equivalent. It would be choreography for that song. I will find a non-copyright equivalent to play during the stream. You should tell everyone all of the time you spent this week oh my gosh. trying to edit your last video and put that... Uh, Just as a what's promo. His name? Just what's, as a the, promo. what's the gender name? <laughs> Ed Sheeran. Yeah. So, so Wednesday we did Ed Sheeran's perfect choreography, but we didn't use the song. So I spent like an hour and a half Thursday trimming down just a 45 second clip from the very end of our stream where we put everything together, just genuinely 45 seconds out of a two and a half minute piece of choreography um, to fit with the actual song to put as an Instagram story, just as a promo, just to be like, here's the thing that we did to the song, even though we couldn't use the song, whatever, right? Get people interested, trying to do more social media engagement. Doesn't mean I'm being successful at it. It was up as an Instagram story, 45 seconds, 
the way that Instagram does it, you have 10 second clips. So that means it was four, like 12 second clips, different little segments. It was up for half a minute, if that, before it got copyright flagged and deleted. You know how we talked about where you would come into my office randomly and ask me questions in the middle of the day? Yeah. That's probably one of them you should have asked me because I probably could have saved you an hour or two. So mad. And I was so proud because the music that we <laughs> the music that we used was close, but it wasn't a hundred percent the right tempo. So I I was like slowing down the video to like 97 and a half percent so that it would line up with the downbeats perfectly in the original song. I was so proud of the the work that I did. You should have changed the, the Ed Sheeran song. Maybe it wouldn't have got a copyright strike quite as fast. Should have made it 102 percent. I feel like if there are any fair use <laughs> attorneys out there in the world, let me know where the fine line is between dance choreography and copyright infringement on the song. Because I'm sure there's a line somewhere, because I've seen Zumba streams, and I've seen Zumba videos. On Twitch or where? And hip-hop videos and whatnot. On Twitch, on YouTube, on well, Instagram, on Twi TikTok. Twitch How is does TikTok do it? Twitch is, well, TikTok is based in China. They do whatever the hell they want, including invade children's privacy, which is why they got sued earlier this week, I think. Um, Twitch says in their terms of service that you're not allowed to use copyright music, but I think they have a much more liberal uh, application of that yeah. for live streams than they do for VODs. So, like, yeah. realistically, if we wanted to use Ed Sheeran's music in this live stream, you might be able to float it. it. You just wouldn't have it in the VOD. Yeah. I don't know that that's ne necessarily productive, though. Yeah, it's not a battle that I necessarily want to pick. I just want to get a better understanding of if the people that I see doing it are really allowed to do it or no, if they just not. haven't gotten caught yet. I feel like that's what I want to try and figure out. It's nine tenths of the law. Because if it's if it's they haven't gotten caught yet, well then fine, I'll I'll play by the rules and like I'm not gonna tread on anything. But if there is a way for it to be artistic expression and fair use, and I'm just not aware of it, like I'd like to know, because that would make my life easier. And I'd like to then I then I would feel more comfortable sharing client videos because the the other issue that I get into all the time is I'll get client videos from either performances or first dances or competitions or whatnot that I want to share and I want to promote and I have to mute the audio or I have to find you know a fair use version of it um, before I can share it out otherwise I get struck on YouTube or I get dinged or muted on mm -hmm. on Instagram, so I'd like to know how people navigate that a little bit better. I think you're fighting that fight with uh, like a million other content creators, and I don't think there's a, an easy answer to it. Yeah. I think the answer is that you probably have to find a service and pay a licensing fee and then use that service exclusively. But we have a licensing agreement, but it doesn't include digital media. Yeah, because that's a different licensing agreement. That way they can know you twice. First world issues, I know. There are bigger issues in the world. That doesn't mean that I'm not less I'm I'm not any less frustrated by it all. Yeah. But what are you gonna do? I don't know. That's a just just yell into the, the void that is the internet about it. That's what I'm gonna do. You and three hundred million other Americans. <laughs> First world issues are still issues. Thank you, the shaded light. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. No, but there are there are some services that are very clear that they allow streaming use and YouTube use and all of that fun stuff. Um, and you've identified a couple of those. You just haven't gone through with it because it's unclear if the music library is worth it. Yeah, that's that's one thing that I would love for there to be a little bit more transparency about who own, like for instance, Ed Sheeran's Perfect. There's probably a way to figure out who owns the copyright, but not which library own, also owns the copyright to it, right? Or it has a license. Or has a license to it. It's some licensable license, yeah. Yeah. Because some are performance-based, some are, I don't know. It's, it's all very complicated. And I feel like this week the research is going to be music license for digital streaming and lapel or lav mics. I don't want to get into another audio issue with this laptop.
We could take my uh, my directional mic and we could uh, mount it to the ceiling in this room. No. No? I need that mic for podcasting. Well, we can make it detachable. <laughs> that seems a little bit complicated. Taylor Swift owns them all over. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Yeah. Well, and then again, you get into those issues where even the artists making the music don't necessarily own their music. So complicated. So silly. And those, those darn lawyers. Damn them. Yeah. Well, and the funny thing was, when Instagram took down my thing, it was like, these are the 87 countries that it's copywritten in. And I wanted to look through the list and just figure out which country it's not. <laughs> Seems like there's a gap somewhere in there. There's a international copyright uh, treaty, I think, mm. that some countries have signed on. So fair enough. I think I don't know. I'm no expert on that. I don't know either. I don't know. But yeah, I'll I will put it I will put it out into the universe. Information on digital music streaming libraries and loud mics or lapel mics that are wireless that would work well for dance instruction. Those are the things that I need answers to in my life. Yeah, I, I would definitely, I make the joke about my, uh, the mic that you use for podcasting. And it is a very nice mic, but uh, I think you need to find a solution that you can take to the studio. And that's not going to be that microphone. It's going to be a lapel mic. Yeah, yeah. I think the two, the two solutions are either going to be find a wireless lapel mic or hire someone on with a boom mic. And one, I imagine, is going to be much cheaper and easier to do than the other. One of them makes sense. But hiring a sound guy. I mean, one one is the home DIY remedy, no, which is no, much no, more just, practical. No, one's just a microphone. But it's pretty sensible. I think a sound guy is a little bit out of uh, a little bit out of the question. It's a little silly. It is a little silly. Yeah. But it would be the other option. Sure. I'm going to vote for the lapel mic. Uh, my vote is lapel mic as well. Well oh, then. At least we've solved that problem. Yeah. Anyway. We need to get dinner. All right. Are we, I, I feel compelled to have a drink while we're sitting here. I'm not allowed to because of my, uh, my allergy medication. medication. Yep. And that's just, that's just ruining this for me. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, Monday podcast, Wednesday wedding, Wednesday, wedding Wednesday, Friday apparently tango part two. Um, yeah, that's that's all I got. Have a wonderful uh, rest of your week and weekend, and we'll see you bright and early Monday morning. And thank you, the shaded light. It was nice. It was nice chatting with you again.